the sea crite, a snake that's mastered life in two worlds, with its sleek banded body gliding through tropical waters. This snake can dive deep into coral reefs and slither on land with ease. But don't be fooled by its beauty. Sea krites are one of the deadliest venom on the planet. Unlike most snakes that stick to either land or water, sea krites are unique because they can live in both. Found across the warm coastal waters of the Indo-Pacific, these snakes split their time between the ocean and the land. Their bodies are specially adapted for life in the water. Their paddle-shaped tail is perfect for swimming through the currents. But what really sets them apart is their need for land. They come ashore to rest, digest food, mate, and most importantly, lay their eggs. Sea krites are members of the Illapidae family, which means they're cousins of cobras and other highly venomous snakes. Their venom is incredibly potent, and they use it to hunt their favorite prey eels. Sea krites have a unique hunting technique. They dive deep into coral reefs and rocky crevices to find eels. With their keen sense of smell, they track down their prey, delivering a quick and deadly bite. The venom works almost instantly, paralyzing the eel which the krite then swallows whole. Despite their lethal venom, sea krites are shy and rarely aggressive toward humans. They would much rather avoid confrontation. Sea krites are truly built for life in the ocean. They can hold their breath for long periods, sometimes staying underwater for up to 30 minutes as they hunt. Their big lungs allow them to take in a lot of air with each breath, perfect for their deep dives. Sea krites play a crucial role in their ecosystem. By hunting eels and other small fish, they help maintain balance within coral reefs. And like all predators, they're part of a complex food web where they too can become prey to larger animals like sharks and birds. While sea krites aren't currently endangered, they face growing threats from habitat destruction, pollution, and climate change. Coastal developments are shrinking their nesting grounds, and plastic waste can be deadly if ingested. And like many marine species, they are vulnerable to bycatch and fishing nets.